Ken Whiting with Paddle TV, and I'm here with another full-on gear review. And in this episode, we're gonna be talking about a kayak in the class of recreational touring kayaks. Now, really you have recreational kayaks, which are kayaks between nine and 12 feet, roughly. And these kayaks are designed to be as stable as possible. And you give up performance to have that user friendliness. Then you have on the other end of the spectrum, you have sea kayaks or full on touring kayaks. And these kayaks are the exact opposite. They are designed to be as uh, fast and to travel through the water as efficiently as possible. And you give up uh, stability. And so they came up with this class in between, uh, recreational touring kayaks, which typically range from 12 to 15 feet in length. There are some that are great for calm water conditions. That's what they're designed for. Calm water, but they're designed to be faster. You can cover more distance and you give up a little bit of stability for that. But then there's others that are designed to do a wide variety of paddling, to paddle in open water, exposed conditions, moving rivers in surf. And that's the type of recreational touring kayak that we're gonna be looking at today. Now the Dagger Stratus comes in four versions. You've got the 12.5L and the 12.5S, a small and a large version, 12 and a half feet. And then you have a 14.5L and 14.5S, a small and a large version of a 14 and a half foot boat. The boat that I'm gonna be testing today is the 14.5L. The Dagger Stratus 14.5 retails for $13.59 US dollars. It's 14 feet, six inches long. It's 24 and a half inches wide. It weighs 53 pounds and it has a capacity of 300 pounds. It's primarily designed for performance touring. Now let's look at some of the Stratus's key features. First of all, the Stratus has a contour CFS seating system, which basically means a sweet seat. It has adjustable padded thigh braces. It has bow and stern hatches and bow and stern bulkheads, which are the walls inside the kayak that separate the kayak into three compartments. It has what they call soft touch handles. It has an adjustable skeg and bungee deck rigging and perimeter lines. They say this kayak is super user friendly, but also can pretty much handle any kind of rough conditions, open water, surf, rock gardens. I'm gonna test this boat today and see if it really does what they say it does. Before I do though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, because we got lots and lots of these gear reviews, uh, paddling tips, paddling adventures coming your way. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And also, I just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsor of this episode, which is Cali Case. Now, Cali Case makes waterproof phone cases, but it's more than just a waterproof phone case, in particular because a waterproof phone case doesn't really help you if you drop your phone and it's the bottom of the river or it's at the bottom of the lake. The Cali Case is actually a padded and floating case as well. And you can use it for photo and videos underwater. And I just started using it and I'm a real fan of it. And I don't really hit the water without it anymore. It just, it's, it's like peace of mind on the water. So anyway, you can check them out at, at calicase.com. I'm gonna get this boat on the water right now and give her a full on test drive. It's a special kind of gear review day. And that's because I'm kind of doing two for one here. Getting to try the Stratus 14.5L for the first time, but I'm also getting to try the Gear Lab Outdoors Calic Greenland paddle. This is the first time I've ever tried a Greenland paddle, and I gotta tell you, anything that looks this cool and makes you feel like a ninja has gotta be awesome. Ninja! Ninja! That's right.
All right, well, I've had a good chance to paddle this boat around. <clears throat> and uh, here's what I can tell you. Let's start with performance. Uh, this thing, it paddles great. It does what a wreck touring kayak should do, is it travels very well going forward and uh, it tracks really well. And with the addition of the, the uh, drop skeg, you can make it track even better. We actually had a little bit of wind pick up for a second. I got to actually put it into play and it did what it was supposed to do. It, it helped the boat track in windy conditions. Um, and now that I have it, uh, have it up, it's a much more maneuverable boat. It, it's a great boat, performs great. Uh, stability. This boat has kind of a displacement hull, which is like a, a rounded hull, but then it's got a chine, an, an edge uh, to it and lets you edge it very easily. You know, it doesn't have like rock solid primary stability, but it's a very stable boat. When they say it's great for beginners, absolutely. What I love about it is the secondary stability. Like as soon as you get it on edge, like all of a sudden it just locks into this, this great position on edge. Now, when it comes to comfort, love it. I'm a sucker for comfort. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that by now. And uh, the seat is tremendous. I mean, it, it's really, it's a comfortable seat on the butt. It's got, uh, it's adjustable. You can actually pull the seat up at the uh, thighs to provide thigh support. The back band is comfortable and nice and padded. I mean, it's a great seat. And then you've got the padded thigh hooks, which are a great feature. I mean, they're comfortable thigh hooks. They are even adjustable. You can move them depending on your leg length. The only thing I'm questioning is the, not it's not for comfort, it's having to do the thigh braces. The thigh braces, it's quite flexible here. And when you're doing any performance paddling, uh, that's not an ideal situation. It's not an issue whatsoever for flat water paddling, for cruising like this. But when you're in some surf, when you're in some rough water, um, you want it to be solid. So that is going to be a limiting factor. Um, but anyway, otherwise, so far I'm loving this boat, but that's not all we're testing. We're just cruising around flat water. Now it's time to step it up a notch and put this thing to the real rough water test. They say it handles the rough stuff. Let's see what it does. Well, they say that the Stratus is good for rough water conditions, surf, rock gardens, open water. Well, I don't have any of that near me, but what I do have is some of the best white water in the world on the Ottawa River. If it can handle that stuff, it can handle this. So we'll soon find out. It's time to swap the hat for a helmet. Water's cool, still spring. <laughs> Maybe not the best short sleeve weather. That was good, that was good. All right, I now consider this boat officially tested for flat water and rough water. I've already told you what I think about flat water. Here's what I think about rough water. Pretty darn good. You know, it's not a white water kayak. It's a beast to try to turn against current. There's just so much boat to turn. I'd love to try the Stratus 12.5. I think it'd be a bit more playful, a bit more maneuverable. Most people, 99.9% .9 of people are never gonna take it on water like this, nor should they. Oh, here we go. But it can handle this stuff. My only concern beforehand was the rigidity, the strength of the thigh hooks. And to be quite honest, I didn't even think about it when I was paddling. Uh, I didn't have to roll, but I had to do some pretty serious braces in there. You know, it, I have nothing negative to say about this kayak whatsoever. All in all, to sum it all up, great recreational all-round touring kayak. Great for rough water, great for flat water, great for you no know, short multi-days. There's lots of room in here to, to 
pack camping gear for a few days out. Uh, you know, for the price tag, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna be hard to beat. One of the things I would change myself if, uh, if I could is the, are the hatches. I'm just not a fan of these type of hatches, these snap-on lid hatches. Not that I don't think they're gonna be secure if they're put on right, but it's really easy to screw these things up. It's, it's easy to not put them on right, not get a good seal. And on top of that, they're a bit of a pain to put, uh, to put on and to take off. So I really like the, the, the locking mechanism that companies are using more and more. Uh, I'd prefer to see that on this boat, but is that a deal breaker? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Solid boat. I hope you've enjoyed this gear review. Stay tuned for lots more. If you haven't subscribed to Paddle TV, you know what to do. And hit the notification bell because we got lots more of these coming your way. And let me know, was this too much? I mean, is taking a boat like this in white water like that, is that too much? Or do you like to see gear pushed to its limit? I'd like to know.